Hi, it's lunchtime. I've got some uh, homemade jambalaya. I even have the bay leaf here. I think that means you're special when you have the bay leaf. And I've got a banana for scale and I've got some nuts and some bread and water. So ready for lunch. Thanks, Liz. I have new glasses and I have new safety glasses, even though I don't know where I put my safety glasses. You saw those. They're great. We're a week and a half in after Rapid React was released, and I've seen a lot of prototyping, a lot of videos out on YouTube. There's a really good video from two friends in plaid shirts, Gabe and Mike. They did a review of the Robot in Three Days videos that are out there now. The reason why they're reviewing it, they're a part of the original Robot in Three Days group that uh, built a robot back in almost 10 years ago. So now they're giving summaries of other folks doing Robot in Three Days actions. So thanks guys for your summary, it was very good. Love the shirts. Shooting a cargo, it's, it's not trivial. I mean, I'm, I'm on a team, I'm back on Technocats. We're talking about shooting cargo, pulling it in and shooting it out. And there's a few things that you gotta work on. Don't just think about diameter and speed, also think about inertia. And maybe maybe even have a flywheel. I don't know, something to think about. We spent about two or three hours on Saturday only working on the right compression with, with our intake slash shooter. It took us a while to get the right compression, the right combination, until the kids were really happy with a certain combination because they were they were trying um, compliant wheels, stealth wheels, solid wheels. They had a Colson wheel sitting around, all kinds of different stuff they were trying. It, it, every iteration took a little time to get the right compression. We actually got it so it was too tight and we, we jammed a ball into the, the roller system just to see what would happen. So that was kind of interesting. Anyway, um, have fun as you're doing that stuff. I'm sure it's pretty neat going through those prototyping processes. We've got some new products that might help you out here at Antimark. Speaking of flywheels, we do have a little flywheel for a stealth wheel. That's a new product we have right here. One really cool product we've been working on for multiple years. It's kind of crazy how long this has taken us to get. We finally have a 7 8 OD, 3 8 ID hex bearing. And we're so proud of it that we put our name on it. We say Antimark right up there. So this is 3 8 ID. We've had one and one eighth inch OD outside diameter hex bearings, but those are pretty big and they're pretty heavy if you start stacking them up. So this is a much more lightweight, smaller 3 8 hex ID ball bearing. Back when we started putting hex bearings into the market back, I think it was gosh, 2008, seven? I can't remember exactly when, but um, we had a 3 8 ID hex 7 8 OD ball bearing, there was a problem with it and it started breaking. The inner race was very thin. And so we worked all that time diligently to make this inner race thicker so this will work. These are these are sealed, not shielded, so it's a rubber seal between the inside and the outside race. That, that was part of the design that had to be that way. We're pretty excited about it. So we've got a lot of them here. We've got more coming in. It's gonna probably take a little time for people to get to know these bearings, but we think they're gonna sell pretty well once people get used to them. It's gonna save you weight, it's gonna save you space. Have fun with that. That's on the new page, we got cargo. Got a lot of orders for cargo. Kind of frustrating because we don't have them here yet. They're supposed to be clearing customs in New York City. I think they arrived in late December and they're still clearing customs in New York City. That's why we turned them on and we let people order them. We thought they'd get through customs by now, but they haven't. So hopefully um, by the time this video airs, we're gonna know more about when they're gonna clear customs. So you can see maybe some text right here that will show you when they will be available to ship. We're still selling them, but they aren't shipped yet because we don't have them. So sorry about that. But we've, we'd rather have them available to sell than um, the not, so that's why we turned them on once kickoff happened. Also, we've got some of the game set items, or the field items for Rapid React, the upper hub and the vision ring around the upper hub. You don't have to buy the vision ring. If you get the upper hub, it comes with its own vision ring. You don't have to buy that to go with your upper hub. It's kind of one or the other. This is just a 
this less parts, lower priced item than the upper hub. Also, we've got some agitators to go with your hub if you want to mess around with that. Gosh, we've got some West Coast style bearing blocks here, and we've got fancy schmancy surgical tubing that's really big for a possible um, roller intake. Anyway, you can look at this stuff. You can figure out what all these things are, I'm sure, as you go through your prototyping and design decisions and that kind of stuff. Hopefully by now, your team has a design decision. You're about 10 days into the season, and it, I would recommend if you don't have a design decision by now, get it done soon. So you don't want to be continuing to put that off. Even if you're still prototyping exactly how to grab the ball or exactly how to hang, you should really know what you're doing as a whole robot concept by now. Second thing I would really recommend is get your drivetrain put together and running, especially if you have a kit of parts chassis. I would recommend part of your team be working on that, get it built, get it wired up, start driving it around, get used to driving that thing, maybe even weigh it down with some weight to make sure you get a feel for how it drives under full load. That'll get your drivers ability to practice. Plus, if, if you assemble it wrong or something's not quite right, you'll fix those problems as you go. My food's getting cold. I got to get to that. And um, I'm sure you have something fun to eat too. We'll see you next week. Be safe. Have fun. Bye-bye. Can you strike a few poses for me to use in the thumbnail? Ha, 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 ha.